All right, here we go. It's been a while. All the engines were very excited. They chucked cheerfully and chattered as they clattered along the tracks. Today was Sir Topham Hatt's birthday, and there was to be the grandest birthday party on Sodor. Thomas had a very special special. He was to pick up Sir Topham Hatt and Lady Hatt for the party. As Thomas approached Maithwaite Station, he gasped. Ahead, he could see Sir Topham Hatt already on the platform. Cinders and ashes, I must be late. Thomas pulled into the station. He was worried. I'm sorry, sir. I thought I was early. Sir Topham Hatt turned around. Thomas gasped. <gasps> sir Topham Hatt had a mustache. Thomas was so surprised he nearly popped a piston. Thomas, my good friend, you're looking perfectly polished today. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mm. Sir Topham Hatt chuckled so loudly his top mm. hat wobbled. Thomas was puzzled. Mm. Sir Topham Hatt never chuckled so loudly that his top hat wobbled. And Sir Topham Hatt never called Thomas his good friend. I know, Thomas. Let's go to the Whispering Woods. It's one of my favorite spots. We have plenty of time before the party. All aboard! Now Thomas was even more puzzled. He wanted to ask about Sir Topham Hatt's new mustache and why he was acting so strangely. But Thomas didn't want to look silly. So he decided not to ask. Thomas pulled away from Mayfway Station and chucked towards the Whispering Woods. Thomas puffed up to the Whispering Woods. Edward was there. Edward had brought children to visit the woods. Then he was to take them to the party. Hello, Edward. Hello, Thomas. You look worried. Thomas was worried, but before he could explain, Sir Topham Hatt climbed down. Marvelous! What fun! Please, sir, uh, we can't stay long. The children mustn't be late for the party. Oh, party smarty, Thomas. We have plenty of time. You worry too much. And Sir Topham Hatt strode off. Hello, children. Who like a game of hide and seek? Did Sir Topham Hatt say a game of hide-and-seek? Yes, he did. And Thomas's wheels wobbled with worry. <laughs> Sir Topham Hatt played hide-and-seek for a long time. He was very happy. So were the children. Edward was puzzled. Sir Topham Hatt never plays hide-and-seek. I'm 